So a day or two ago, I talked about how somebody had stolen Stan Lee's blood and made ink with it in order to hand stamp autograph comic books for a profit. Well, things are not looking better for Stan Lee, unfortunately. Uh, some video footage was released from a convention that Stan Lee appeared at a few days ago that seems to have everybody, critics, fans, uh, comic pros alike, really pissed off. Uh, take a look. It's not easy to look at. Now, this has sparked a lot of controversy, uh, and a lot of heat has been thrown in the direction of Stan Lee's handlers, uh, you know, saying that people have been saying that Stan Lee looks like he had been forced into this situation. People who had gone to the convention said that the event had been sold out, but more tickets were sold anyways. Tickets to see Stan Lee and get an autograph were going for about $120. Stan Lee did not take any breaks during the entirety of the event and was just autographing item after item after item. And he did not look well. Uh, it looked like he was still very much recovering from his fight with pneumonia. It was not uh, out of the woods yet. He had a blanket draped over him the entire time. He sounded weak. And it was disgusting. There's a video going around on YouTube where an owner of an eBay store went to get a bunch of merchandise autographed and it fucking sickened the shit out of me to see somebody just come up and drop all of this stuff on the table and get it signed. And they were more concerned about getting everything signed than they were about actually saying hello to Stan Lee. It's fucking disgusting as shit. But from the two leaked videos that I had seen, I mean, it seemed like Stan Lee was in bad enough shape that you even see people moving the, the stuff that he has to sign into his hands. Like he can't even go and reach for it himself because he's just so damn out of it. There's blue tape put on everything to go, okay, autograph here, autograph here, autograph here. It's, it's fucking disgusting the way that he is being used right now. And it doesn't get any better from here. I mean, there's been all kinds of stuff that's happened with him since Joan died. And now it comes out that his daughter had been abusing Stan Lee and Joan Lee. The story that came out was that uh, there was a trust fund that was set up by Stan and Joan for their daughter. Because they believed that if they just gave her money, she would burn through it and go destitute. And... <sighs> wasn't easy to read that Stan Lee's daughter threw Joan Lee against a glass window and grabbed Stan Lee by the throat and smashed his head against the back of a wooden chair. Um, I, I had to take a pause after reading that and uh, punch the fuck out of something. To make matters worse, I mean, there's all kinds of rumors that are circulating about how Disney and his new handlers are effectively uh, dividing him from his, uh, you know, his friends, uh, especially his uh, previous manager, Max, who certainly would have never let this happen. I mean, Mark Wade went on a pretty lengthy Facebook uh, rant about how, you know, if Max was around, this would have never happened. Stan Lee would have been at home or in a facility that could better take care of him at this time, given that he is ill and, you know, that he's, he is 95 years old. I mean, he does need special care. This is just hard to see all of this, this news coming out and, you know, I, I really wish there was something that could be done. Some number that fans could call to say, look, we're concerned, somebody we could email, something, uh, unfortunately, there's just nothing that we can really do at this point other than show our support for Stan Lee in whatever way we can, be it if we go to see him at a convention or I don't know if he ever has an online presence again, you know, that way somehow. But, you know, I don't want to end this on this on, on an incredibly depressing note. So there's some good news uh, with, associated with this. Uh, Kevin Smith 
put out an offer to Stan Lee for Stan Lee to come and live with him. And, you know, I would trust Silent Bob because it's obvious and clear to everyone how big of a fan Kevin Smith is and how badly he really wants to see Stan Lee taken care of. Uh, you know, I, again, I would trust Silent Bob with this. Uh, they seem to be pretty good friends from what appe uh, what appearances I have seen of them together online and at conventions and such. Uh, Todd McFarlane would be great as well. Uh, McFarlane and Stan Lee are apparently pretty good friends. Uh, McFarlane put out a post on Facebook the other day about a visit that he had given to Stan Lee. And they just sat down and talked for a while about life and baseball and comic books and how Stan Lee was doing. And, you know, when McFarlane got up to leave, Stan grabbed his hand and told him, your visits are better than any medicine I could receive. And so that's a great thing to hear that it, there's at least something positive for him in life still. You know, I've heard stories from multiple people about how Stan Lee has been kind of becoming disillusioned, I guess, with the, the fans and that he doesn't think people actually appreciate him when they go to see him and get autographs and such. And I don't want to see Stan Lee sad like that. I don't want to see him angry like that. I want him to be as happy as possible in, you know, what time he has left. And, you know, admittedly with the passing of Joan, he can only be so happy. I mean, when you've been with someone for that long and then they're gone, I mean, th that's undescribable. It, it really is. But I just hope that something happens and things improve for him. And he's surrounded by friends, not this bastard manager that he has now, not these people who are circling him like vultures and fighting over his money. Stanley needs to be surrounded by fans who love and care for him and want to see the best for him. So if Stanley's in your area and you intend to go, just shake his hand. Thank him for everything he's done because he needs some of that right about now, I think. But let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of that stuff. And until next time, guys, take it easy. And the rain's starting. Have fun. Gotta run.